Shalom and good day, this is Healing 29 back again for another indie comic review and or indie comic reviews and in this indie comic reviews I have Red Coat issue 4 and TMNT Untold Destiny issue 5 to which I think this is actually meant to be the last issue in relation to this particular series um, which is out of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I'll now get things ready and organized for the first one that I'll be reviewing. So, starting off with first things first, does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that is happening inside with the story? Sure enough it does, to which I give the cover an 8 out of 10. Um, as you can see on the cover, um, to those who have been uh, following this story, whether it's online or however you choose to read it, um, the people that we see on the cover is of course Simon Pure and also the character of a young Albert Einstein so that's why I gave the cover an 8 out of 10 so moving into the next thing and that is moving into the internal art as we have a look around the beginning middle and end and also what's happening story wise with the characters so as the story well, as the story begins we are following a young Albert Einstein and um, there is actually quite a bit of word being used here uh, including the word kraut which sort of took me out of the story uh, I want to point that out because it doesn't feel like it um, suits this time period which um, the character is presently set in uh, it, it would make sense to say maybe the 1930s and 1940s but as for this, it doesn't really feel like it's in the right place. As we start to draw towards the middle of the story, uh, we slowly return to the character of Simon Pure, and we realize that he has actually been taken captive by the cult in connection to the Grand Architect. And last but not least, towards the end, uh, to which we learn that the character of George Washington is still alive. So for the internal art, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the area of the story. Uh, first things first, did we get anything addressing the area of time? Uh, yes, we did, but it was mainly centered around the character of young Albert Einstein, uh, to which we had... Uh, 16 days ago followed by 16 days later so we got to see some of the things that happened in the, the previous as well as what happened after next is the location of course this takes place in the usa the cast of characters consisting of uh, benedict arnold um, albert einstein simon pure of course the grand Ar the grand architect and also, last but not least, the character of George Washington. For my overall rating for this particular comic, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Um, the, one of the places where it did sort of lose marks was in relation to the word kraut being used. It did not feel um, like it was in the... In relation to the era period uh, to which this is being set. So... I guess really early 1900s or early like 1910, 1911. It just didn't feel like it worked and that's because it loses the point or half a point. Now it's time to move into the TMNT Untold Destiny. So as we move into the Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan connected to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles universe, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that is happening inside of the story? Sure enough, it does, to which we see the character of, I believe, is Karai. Um, and we see some other characters as well, uh, to which I give a 7.5 out of 10. 
now it's time to move in the area of the internal art as we have a look around the beginning middle and of course the end of the story and also what's happening story-wise with the characters so as the story begins we catch up with the character of Karai and also some of her I guess allies along with cowboy um Bebop and Rocksteady <laughs> that are present in the story along with a couple of other characters as the story advances, uh, this is also taking place on a bit of an island um, in Japan. And last but not least, towards the end. For the internal art, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move in relation to the area of the story. Uh, first things first, did we get anything in regards to the area of time? To which we did. Uh, two days later being used and also days later next is the location to which we had uh, the island castle of the yoshi clan and also we had the foot clan headquarters or one of the um, headquarters within the story next we also had the cast of cowboy bebop rock city karai and Dr. Chaplin, who is also helping Karai out. For the overall story rating, I feel like this story sort of flopped towards the end, to which I give it a 6.5 out of 10. But overall, it has been an interesting story. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.